Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Master Computer Science Subjects. Today in this video we are going to discuss about uh, loader. As usual before getting into the concepts, I request all my viewers to subscribe to my channel and continue watching. Okay, today we are going to discuss about the loader. What is a loader? What are the functions of the loader? This is the topic today. Alright, so there are three important functions we are expecting the loader to do. First one is loading. The second one is relocation and the third one is linking. So what is loading? It brings the object program, whatever the assembler has generated, into the memory for execution. That is loading. What is relocation? Already the object program along with the modification records is generated by the assembler. So relocation means as per the instruction given in the object program, the object code is to be loaded at a different address from the location originally it is specified. This is known as relocation. So what is linking? Linking is the third task. Combine two or more separate object programs. And of course, when two or more object programs are combined, there may be a need of information communicated among those separate object programs to allow the references in between them. So these are the three tasks we are expecting the loader and the linker to do, right? If a software does only loading, that system software is known as absolute loader. So only loading means absolute loader. Okay. Loading plus relocation. Loading plus relocation. If these two tasks are done together, then we can call that system software as relocating loader or relative loader. Relocating loader or we can call it as relative loader. If a system software does loading, relocation as well as linking, we can call that system software as linking loader. So loading plus relocation plus linking. All the three tasks put together is nothing but a linking loader. If a software does only the task of linking, then that software is known as linker. So based on the operations carried out by the loader, we have categorized the loader into three types. Loading, only loading means absolute loader. Loading plus relocation means relocating loader or relative loader. Loading plus relocation plus linking means linking loader. Now we are going to understand what is absolute loader with an example. So this is a given object program. We know every object program majorly contains three types of records header record, text record and the end record. So this is the input being given to the loader. So I just try to give a picture of a loader. If this is loader, what is being input to the loader? The object file, which contains all these three types of records. And what the loader does, it just loads a program into the memory for execution. Yes. Okay, now we are just going to exercise the job of loader now with this example. So now object file is given. So now we are going to understand how this object codes are loaded into the memory. Right. So this is the structure of the memory. Here every column is nothing but the address. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to F I have written here. So the starting address is 1000. So what is the address of this location? It is 1000, this is 1001, this is 1002, 1003, 1004, 5, 6, 7, this is 100F. After 100F, what will be the address of the next memory location? It is 1010. So this is in fact 1010, this is 1011, 1012, 1013 and it keeps going like this and the address of this last location is 10. 1f. So what is the address of the next memory location? It is 1020. 
1020212222324255 up to 2f so i hope you have understood the memory structure now so memory is available as per given in the object file we are going to write the object codes here right header record says the name of the program to the loader is copy and it says what is the starting address of the program starting address is nothing but 1000 so this is the memory location and we have another information also in the header record what is this information this is nothing but the length of the object code so what is the length of the object code it is 107a right all these informations are told by the assembler to the loader in fact we are now going to do the task of the loader okay now loader is reading the first text record when it reads the first text record it says that the starting address of the text record is 1000 and the length of this text record is 1e right what is this first object code is 141033 at the address 1000 14 is written by the loader 10 is written by the loader then 33 is written by the loader in this location i'll just explain this object code 141033 this is in fact 3 bytes the length of this object code is 3 bytes we know already each digit is half byte right so this is available at the address 1000 this 10 is available at the address 1001 this 33 is available at the address 1002 similarly this is 1003 1004 1005 so let me write the next object code is 482039 i'm writing here 482039 next is 001036 i continue to write the object codes one by one now 281030 28 One zero three zero. Uh, the next object code is three zero one zero one five. Okay, let me write it. Three zero one zero one five. The next object code in the text record is four eight two zero six one. Let me continue to write four eight here two zero six one. The next object code here is three C one zero zero three. Three C one zero zero three. The next is. Zero zero one zero two a, zero zero one zero two a, then zero c one zero three nine, and the last object code of the text record is zero zero one zero two d. Right, we are done. So one, the first text record, all the object codes are written into the memory. now let us see the second text record what the second text record says the second text record says the starting address of this text record is 101e yes it is of course 1010 is the address of this location 111213141 all is done now from 1e we are supposed to write the second text record what is the length of this text record the length of this text record is given as 15 bytes okay let us continue to write this object codes also 0c1036 i have written 482061 0810334c0000 454f46 right then a uh, 0000003 Zero 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 zero. Yes, I have completely written the second text record into the memory. What is the starting address of the third text record? The third text record starting address is given as two zero three nine. Okay, where are we right now? Right now, our memory location till what it is consumed is one zero three two. Okay, this must be one zero four zero, one zero five zero. Likewise, it continues. Uh, at one point it will become 2000 2010 2020 right we are supposed to write the next text record starting from the address 39 so which is the address 39 this is 30 in fact 
थ्री वन थ्री टू थ्री 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 फोर थ्री फाइव थ्री सिक्स थ्री सेवन थ्री एट थ्री नाइन दिस इज द एड्रेस टू जीरो थ्री नाइन फ्रॉम हियर आई एम सपोज टू टू राइट द नेक्स्ट टेक्स रिकॉर्ड ओके वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दीज मेमोरी लोकेशन देन दीज मेमोरी लोकेशन माइट बी रिसर्व बाय द प्रोग्राम फॉर स्टोरिंग सम डेटा यूजिंग द एसेंब्लर डिरेक्टिव लाइक रिसर्व वर्ड रिसर्व बाइट बाइट वर्ड एक्सेट्रा so this memory is reserved by the program for storing some data so here we are not supposed to load the object code so from here from the address 2039 uh, we are supposed to load the object code in such a way 0410 this is the object code available 30 etc likewise every text record is written into the memory by the loader okay what the end record says end record says that after writing all the text records into the memory keep the cursor here it means it has to begin the execution starting from the address 1000 that is the information given by the end record so this is a task of absolute loader what absolute loader does it just does only the loading operation it does not know to do the relocation it does not know to do the linking operation also just we have a look of the algorithm of the absolute loader so absolute loader what it does it reads the header record if it reads the header record it will come to know the starting address name of the program as well as the length of the program by the way it verifies the program name and the length then it reads the first text record and it starts loading the uh, object code into the memory so how long it does till the record type is not equal to e it continues to load the object code as i did but there is a challenge for the loader when loader is reading the object code it is not reading the object code as hexadecimal suppose if i take the object code 141033 each digit is half byte it means 4 bits so totally the object code size is 3 bytes but when the loader when it is reading this object code it will read it as a character when it read it as a character each character occupies one byte so instead of storing one object code in three bytes it happens so that it requires six bytes so it just requires double the size of the memory which is not uh, which is not possible in fact so what the loader does before loading the object code in convert the pair of characters for example the object code if it has 14 in the object program to a single byte with the hexadecimal value 14 i mean to say instead of storing the each digit as a one byte character it converts these two bytes into a single byte and then loads into the memory so i hope you would have understood the uh, logic of absolute loader In the next video we see the other type of loaders thank you